When Barack Obama came to power in 2008, Al-Qaeda was the dominant jihadist group in the Middle East. But its core leadership has been decimated in the years since. Drone strikes and special ops targeted militants in Pakistan, Afghanistan and Yemen. Al-Qaeda lost its spiritual leader, Osama bin Laden, in 2011. Into the vacuum stepped another figure, ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. There are few images of him, but his influence has changed the face of Islamic extremism and inspired a deadly new threat to the region and to the West. Baghdadi rose in the ranks of an Al-Qaeda offshoot, Al-Qaeda in Iraq. The native Iraqi has a PhD in Islamic studies and became a proven leader a generation apart from the older order of Al-Qaeda leaders. Al-Qaeda and its Iraqi branch coexisted until 2013, when one voice recording changed everything. Baghdadi released this audio message, announcing the official creation of ISIS. His intention was to extend his power from Iraq to northern Syria, in defiance of Al-Qaeda's leadership. Al-Qaeda dissociated itself from ISIS, and the new group dedicated itself to building an Islamic state with Baghdadi as its self-styled caliph. In the years since, ISIS has grown into both an army and a movement. Its followers now control entire cities in Iraq and northern Syria, imposing a medieval form of Islamic law on scores of helpless civilians. Young Muslims from some 90 countries have joined the fight. We are coming and we will destroy you. They are both defending the Islamic State from the American-led coalition determined to stamp it out, and now attacking its enemies abroad. Deadly attacks in late 2015 represented the scaling up of a new, more insidious threat. Individual or small groups of extremists, often radicalized from afar, committing acts of brutality in the name of ISIS. These bloody, unpredictable attacks have helped Baghdadi's group eclipse Al-Qaeda in the public's mind as the foremost threat to the West. Baghdadi, however, keeps a low profile, befitting a man sometimes called the Invisible Sheikh. He has stayed in the shadows as his sphere of influence has grown, with only the occasional radio address to the faithful. Rumors suggesting he died in a coalition airstrike earlier this year have never been confirmed. His current whereabouts are unknown, but his message is stronger than ever.